Right, today I'm going to cook an easy lamb boona. So hopefully you can follow and uh, just a really simple curry but very tasty and very popular dish. One of the most popular dishes on my menu and all across the country. So lamb boona, an authentic take on a restaurant curry. Okay, I'm using half a cup of just vegetable oil, that is. Uh, and then I'm going to follow by cardamom. There's about six or seven I've just cracked, cracked open, so you've got the cardamom pods. Um, that's, that's a cinnamon, the cassia bar, the Indian cinnamon. I'm just going to use uh, one of them. Three bay leaves, one star anise. It brings an aniseed flavour. Also, um, it just looks nice as well. And this is the black cardamom. It also brings out a beautiful fragrance and nice flavours. A few peppercorns, a few cloves. And this is the Shahi Jira. It brings out an uh, earthy flavour and a fantastic uh, fragrance. Now this is the aniseed, um, fenugreek, uh, fennel seeds, sorry, about a teaspoon of them. You don't need to add these in, I add it in, it just builds a nice flavour. I've got a couple of uh, green and red uh, peppers, smallish size, I've just really diced it up. I've got about three of this size onions, diced up. I've got about half a cup of uh, tomato puree, spices I'm going to be using, one and a half teaspoon of salt. Um, one teaspoon of the zero, which is the cumin, one teaspoon of the coriander, one teaspoon of haldi, which is the turmeric, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of crushed methi, which is these. So I've just really crushed, crushed it up and I said the salt. Um, I'm going to be adding about a couple of teaspoons, heat teaspoons of uh, garlic, heat teaspoons of um, ginger I've just really finely diced it up sorry about that that's a uh, green chilies about four green chilies chopped up a couple of tomatoes medium size about this size I've just chopped it up and that's a bunch of uh, coriander so about a handful of coriander that I'm going to use I'm going to cook one kg of lamb so tender pieces of lamb this is the leg of lamb I've just cut it up uh, it's not too fatty and it's very meaty that one I've got about a thousand uh, so one litre of water, I'll use that occasionally. I'm going to cook it today on a cast iron. It's smoking up, so it's quite hot. I can see the smoke, so it's very hot. That's a half a cup of vegetable oil that just gone in. Now I'm adding the garam masala, which I've described earlier. As you can see, it's popping. Hey. It just needs to release this oil, so we need to start smoking away. I don't want to burn it, just slightly toast it. Right. Literally been there about a minute. I don't want to burn it like I said, so I'm adding the three onion and a small green and a red pepper. Right. Green and red pepper was about this this size, so it's not the normal medium size, it's a bit smaller than this. fragrance is already coming out. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'll go to the next process. It's been a few minutes. As you can see it's steamed up. This actually takes about 10-15 uh, minutes, for about 10 minutes for the onions to actually cook. For the rollers to go. Yeah. When you have a cast iron, it's really nice. It cooks very nice. Whereas if you have a non-stick pan, yeah, uh, the sort of edges comes off and uh, it's not really really good or healthy. I'm just adding one of these teaspoons of vegetable ghee. 
It's not butter ghee, it's vegetable ghee. It's just going to bring out a little bit of flavour. garlic ginger go uh, onions about daily cooked and then we're going to go on to the next process it's been cooking away about 10 minutes you see over here that thing's caramelized nice turn that up a bit. it's all caramelized beautifully all the edges everything's cooked up the rawness is totally gone I'm gonna add the spices in now. So I said that's a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, one and a half teaspoon of salt. You can add more or less depending on your taste. So I'm cooking one kg of lamb, so that's what I'm using. Uh, I'm using one teaspoon of uh, cumin, which is the zero, one teaspoon of the coriander, which is the donya, and a teaspoon of crushed metal. So that all goes in. fragrance has come out beautifully. So literally on a the medium gas gonna cook this up for a bit. Uh, just making a stock of gravy. Like I said this is a small batch of onion. So I keep the onions whole like I showed on my program so as you can see here it just smashes open the onions, peppers these are the carrots, green peppers, red peppers, the spices. The oil has risen to the top, so it's near enough done here. And the chef's gonna make the poppadom so the oil is frying away. I'm making a chana chat or puree for my customers. Spices I'm cooking in here to me. Literally been about a couple of minutes. So this is about half a cup of tomato puree. minutes just the rawness of the spice and the smell to go away and then I'll be adding the next uh, ingredient so this is the china chart nearly done so that's the base gravy over here so half a ladle going into there and I'm gonna chop in some tomatoes Seeds and all. Right, stop. Gotta be ready shortly. Literally a couple of minutes, I'll show you over here. It's steamed away in the oil. So I think the spice, that just that slight rawness has gone away. It's, it's been toasted, it's been slightly cooked in the warm oil. Add a bit of water. Literally put it on high gas. 
pan. You want to wait for that water to evaporate, and then when the water evaporates, then you know the spice is cooked, and then I'll be going on to the next process. So that's there. Start is nearly ready. I'll just wait for the puree. Put it on slow, slow gas. Everything's really cooked now, so lamb cooks really fast. So, in a cup of yogurt so what this does is it tenderizes the meat although it's lamb meat just needs a bit of it brings out a nice flavor as well so I'm gonna let, let, let this cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add the, the lamb so a few minutes I'm gonna add the lamb it's been about half an hour cooking process. The chef's getting ready to do the poppadoms and the gravy is nearly done. My curry for the staff, which is the easy lambuna, is nearly done. So there is about a kg of lamb here. As I said, it's the leg of lamb. So it's quite lean, very flavoursome. The fat, the fat has been taken away as well, so it smells absolutely gorgeous and the curry is fantastic and it's, 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 it's ready. All it needs is the meat to get cooked out. I'm not going to add any water because it's going to be a very thick sauce. So I'm going to give it about 5-10 minutes for the water of the lamb to release. And once that water releases, then I'll know whether to add a bit more water or not. So give it another five, ten minutes, and then we'll see. And every few minutes, I'll come and check up on it. Because I've got the see-through lid specifically for my channel, so it's going to be really nice for me to keep an eye on what's actually happening to the curry. So there you go. I've just gone and checked up on my friends. I think they're enjoying themselves. And I'm going to check on the curry. It's literally been about three or four minutes. So the meat's gone in and there should be some water that's been released. As you can see here, you know the oil has, oil is rising to the top because you know the curry's nearly done. We just need the lamb to get cooked. So it needs to sort of fry, fry in that curry. So all that masala, which is the spices, the masala needs to go into the lamb. And that's what we, that, that's what we call the buna. So we buna, we, we're boonering the lamb, basically that's what it is. So this is on medium heat and I need to start cooking my main dishes. My uncle here is frying the pop drums. The oil here is very, very hot. And there's an art to it. It just needs to be flat as possible. So he's doing a fantastic job over here. Got a couple of the orders and go. These are beautiful. These are it's, it's one of our specials. So king prawns, king prawns are raw. So I'm gonna I've just added that, and I'm gonna add some chicken and lamb to that dish. All right, let's check up on the lamb. It's been about five minutes. Now, wow, look at that oil there. That's come up from here. I've added no water whatsoever. Right, this is the natural water from the lamb. Now ideally, that's how I want to cook it, on a slow gas. So I'm going to put the gas a bit down, let that cook out for a bit. Right, the lamb is been about 10 minutes now. Now let's have a look. Gorgeous. I put it on really slow gas as you can see. Now we're going to add two tomatoes, like I said. So it's, it's, I like it a bit tomatoey. Some green chilies. Right at the end, I'll add the coriander. So, if you like a Rogan Josh sort of dish, now uh, this is the authentic way. But well, this is actually a Boona. I like the flavours of tomato. Now it's the leg of lamb, 
so the meat is quite lean so I like to have, I like the lamb to have a bit of bite so I'm not going to cook it for that long so on a medium heat this is the chef special Bruna masala that's the king prawns that's some chicken tikka that's some lamb some I just added a bit more spice to it, some green chilies and so on. There's I've got a couple of friends, they like it a bit spicy. So it's going to be a little bit more spicy than normal. So this, this is just a South Indian dish, which is slightly spicy, originated from South India. So it's quite spicy. All the dishes there are spicy. It's like the Madras, very spicy dish. So now, these are the Kashmiri dry red chilies. Now that's going in there. I'm going to add one there for a little surprise for my friends. These curries are nearly done. About half an hour, just going to have a quick look. Have a slight sweetness, spicy, aniseed, everything should be into this tomato. -y. Now, what I'm doing now is just thickening up the sauce extra thick, but almost sticks to the lamb. Once I've got it to that consistency, and basically it's ready, it's ready now, but not to how I want it. Just using some curry masala here. You don't need to do this, but I'm doing it. This, this, this dish is going to taste of highly flavoured curry masala. So it's going to have a strong curry masala flavour over there. I just left it on the top. Oil has risen to the top, everything's been cooked. It's actually the whole process has been an hour. So you can cook it less than that, it'll be quite busy as well. So, so coriander to garnish. it in the heat there until the curry is done and if you like this video and you enjoyed it and you found it informative please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I need a few more subscribers and hopefully we'll reach the 1000 mark and whoever's that 1000 definitely get something from me a nice little gift or maybe like a meal for two or something uh, in my restaurant uh, or something paid for so I need to reach 1000 subscribers guys make sure you like it and if you're around the area Make sure you pop into Latif's in All Sager, Stoke on Trent. So, if you're going to Orton Towers or anything, uh, come in uh, to the M6, M6 Junction 16, and hopefully, we'll do some cracking meal.